So you're thinking about moving to Boise, Idaho. In this video, I'm gonna kind of walk you through a step-by-step -step process of how that could look for you, all the way from scouting and finding videos on YouTube like this to finally getting moved to where you wanna be. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Craig Flood. I create videos each week for people just like you looking to get relocated to the state of Idaho. And I'm a licensed real estate agent with an amazing team who can help you get relocated. You can reach out days, nights, or weekends, call, text, or email, and we can help. So a lot of what my day looks like often is talking to people looking to relocate. It's walking you through what those steps look like, what it's like here in Idaho, and what that process is ultimately like. And so what I want to do in this video is kind of map out kind of what we've seen be a really successful process so that you can end up where you want to be. And we're going to kick things off with research. So if you're watching this video, you're already doing that. You're trying to figure out what does it look like to move specifically to Idaho, and you might even be considering some other cities and states as well. But I would encourage you, continue to research, right? Narrow down your list. If it's multiple states, see if you can knock some states off the list. If it's multiple cities, see if you can knock some cities off the list because ultimately what your next step is after researching, watching videos like this, is to plan a scouting trip. If you have not narrowed things down enough, now we're talking about multiple scouting trips, right? If you have it between two states, you're going to two states. So again, that's where I encourage you to narrow it down as much as possible. Within reason, you can only do so much. What I don't want you to do is take something off your list that ultimately could be an amazing fit. So if you're on the fence about it, something to think about. But a scouting trip is a good next step. This is not a vacation. This is a, this is not go to all the fine dining and stay in the fancy hotel, though it could be that to a degree, but it is a, it's a scouting trip, right? Like if you have ever vacationed to Hawaii, you're probably like, ah, oh, this is amazing. You're staying at the Marriott, you're enjoying the beach, you're going snorkeling. And then maybe you have that thought like, oh, maybe we should live here. And everybody will tell you, you could do that, but it's not like your vacation. So just know that. So a scouting trip is, it's going to be work. It's going to be enjoyable and fun, right? There's going to be some novelties to it. You're going to be discovering things, but it's going to be work. And in addition to that, you need to plan it so that it's successful. Just like in any other thing in your life, you got to plan it to be successful. This is where we come in. We are really good at helping people with scouting trips. Right, This is like our bread and butter because we know it is that next step that most people typically take. And so what we like to do with our clients who are helping do this, and I'll say this, this is completely free. I said clients, but typically they turn into clients. But if you don't end up moving here, that's no problem. But this is completely free. Best case scenario is that it's a four-day trip. Right, You fly in on one day. You kind of self-tour. I'll talk about that here in a second. The next day. Then you kind of go on a guided tour with us the day after that. And then from there, you got that fourth day, which is typically your wind down, go catch a flight or drive home, depending on where you came from. But this will give you two full days. It'll give you one day to come in, get settled, get relaxed, two days to drive around, and then a final day to leave. Now, the way that we help couples plan for the scouting trip is one, we get to know you, right? We want to know what kind of lifestyle do you want? What is your budget? What are you looking for in a home? What are you looking for in a neighborhood? What are you looking for in terms of amenities? Do you want people five feet away from you? Do you want people a mile away from you? Do you want to be close to the foothills? Do you want to be close to a river? Like, do you want to be on a lake up north in North Idaho? Like, where do you want to be? What do you want it to look like? From there, then, we'll kind of create a plan of like, hey, here's a self-guided trip. This is what you, we encourage you to go do, like on your own. Go figure it out. Here's some places to eat. Here's some points of interest to see. And then after that, you come back together to discuss. Like, what did you not like? What did you like? From there, the following day, you can get a lot more laser focused, right? You can dive into those neighborhoods that really intrigued you or those cities that really intrigued you. We can get some doors open for you so you can see what some homes look like. If you're interested in new construction, we can go get some new construction figured out for you. If you're interested in some existing homes, you just want to see what a neighborhood's like, we can go do that for you. But ultimately, this way, you can have a successful trip to help move down the road of getting to that goal of moving to a new city. I know moving is not easy. It can be really challenging. You could be leaving all you've ever known. You could be leaving 
family members, those family members might not even understand why you're even considering a move. I talk to people time and time again, and the first things I want to know is like, why are you leaving where you currently live? Like, what is it about the place that you live that is causing you to feel pushed out, if that's the case, or maybe it's a job opportunity, right? You're coming over here because you got a great job opportunity, or maybe it's just desires. You just, you're like, ah, I'm okay about the place I live, but I'd really love X, Y, and Z. I'd love a more family-friendly place to live. I'd love to be closer to the outdoors. I'd, I'd love the ability to just breathe. Maybe it's political, right? You just feel fresher for what you feel like the government maybe is forcing you to do, or they're doing things that just don't align with you, and you're just done. You're just done with it. You want to walk away from it. You could have a myriad of reasons for wanting to move, but no matter what they are, it's going to be challenging. It is hard to go from one state to another. It's hard to pack up all your stuff. It's hard to have a garage sale. It's hard to pick a date. It's hard to sell the existing home that you're in if you're selling an existing home. That's something else that we do, right? If you're moving from an area and maybe you don't have a good real estate agent in that area, all I do is talk to agents all the time from other states, finding the best agents to recommend to my clients who are making that move. Because again, my goal is to make this as seamless and smooth as possible and getting you the result that you want, right? If you're moving from somewhere that is not safe, we want to find a really safe place for you to live. We want you to land in a home that is going to be a good fit for you and not a place that you feel like you might have to leave in one to two years because it wasn't a good fit, right? That goes back to the scouting trip. That's where we get really pinpointed with you to help you figure those things out. Additionally, on your scouting trip, this is a good opportunity to check out schools, to set up meetings, and also to potentially do job interviews and kind of put a face to the name. So if you're thinking about moving here and you need to transition work, and maybe there's some employers here that you want to talk to, then I would say, great, start reaching out to those people. A book that I often recommend to people who are making that transition, it's an old one, but a good one, is going to be 48 Days to the Work You Love by Dan Miller. And particularly in that book, if you move towards the latter half of it, he talks about the application process and applying and getting a job. The first half of that book is more about finding the career that you'd love. Maybe you'd enjoy that. I always found that helpful. But he talks about how to go after the job and get the job. So if there's 100 applicants, he talks about how can he get you to be the one in five applicant. But again, a lot can be done on a scouting trip. And I just want to say it again, this isn't a vacation. You're literally coming here with a plan and you want to execute that plan as best you can because you have a limited amount of time. So now let's move on to the next part. You've come, you've had a successful scouting trip, and two things either happened. One, you decided, hey, Idaho is not for you, which is great. That is a good outcome to happen. Now you can move on to some other states that you're considering. That's a win. The other option is you have decided Idaho is for you, and on that scouting trip, you've probably narrowed down some areas that you think would be a good fit. This is where we get to work now. Now it's starting to come up with a plan. Okay, great. If you own a home, What's your plan to move out of that home, to get that home ready, to get it ready to be sold? And how good is your agent at helping you do that and working with our agents here on the Idaho side of helping make a smooth transition, right? Best case scenario, depending on what you want, is that you sell your home and you move into your other home. There's nothing in between. You don't have to go to a rental. Now, your next thing here is that when you move to Idaho or whatever state you end up in, you got a couple options there. You rent, maybe short-term or long-term. You could do that with Furnish Finder for short-term. You could do that with Airbnb for short-term. The nice thing about Furnish Finder is it literally is designed for people in transition. So Airbnb can be short-term, but it can also kind of be extended, you know, one, two, three, four, five months. But Furnish Finder is designed exactly for that. It's month to month and it's for an extended period of time. So that could be you. You could want to move somewhere and say, hey, I want to get to know the area a little bit get a feel for the culture and the different cities so that I actually feel confident in where I want to move. Now, granted, that is our goal to do that on the scouting trip as much as possible. We're really, really good at what we do in helping people find the right communities. But again, going back, one of those transitions could be to a rental or it could be straight into a home. So if you're thinking about renting, we can help with that. If it's long-term, if it's short-term, right? Think of us like kind of the concierge at a hotel. Again, all free up to this point. We are here to help as many people as we can get relocated to the beautiful state of Idaho because so many of you 
we know this is going to be a good fit for you, especially compared to where you're coming from. I consistently hear stories where it puts a grin on my face when I think about, man, I can't wait for the day where it's day number one for you. And you move in and you did it and you walk out of your door the next day and you just breathe just a deep, deep breath knowing you made it, you're in Idaho and you can start to enjoy the city. Now, if you're someone who's gonna go straight into buying a home, again, this is a huge part of what we do. This is where the home search really begins, if it hasn't already. We do have some people who come, they love it, and they buy on the scouting trip. They're just like, we can't can't leave here without owning something. But this is where we go to town with you. So if you're buying new construction, we're gonna hold your hand through that process. A pro tip right here, if you're buying new construction, talk to a good realtor first before you go to the new construction site. Depending on what you do, they might make it very difficult for you if you've addressed them or started a conversation with them for you to bring in a realtor to represent your side. If you go buy new construction, whoever you work with, they are representing the builder and you could be missing out on a lot of incentives, a lot of kickbacks, And unless you're a really strong negotiator, you could be paying a lot more than you should be. So just know we're here to help you with that process. And we put together a great video all about buying new construction here in Idaho. But the home search is where we come alongside you and really help you find that perfect home for you. We go deep into that. We we scour the listings. We scour the off-market deals. We do whatever we can do to find you that deal. That's what you are paying us to do. In addition to that, when we find the home that you love, we're going to hold your hand and walk you through that process, making sure that you're buying a home that's going to be good for you, making sure that you're getting the right price on that home, making sure that we are negotiating on your behalf, and we're creating a scenario that is good for you and what you want, right? We are here to represent you in that process and jump over all the hurdles and obstacles that we come through to get that deal to a close so that you can call Idaho home. And if it's new construction you're wanting and you're out of state, again, that's where we help. We're the boots on the ground during that process. We're the ones helping you with the checks and making sure the builder is doing what they should be doing during that process. We're encouraging you to do due diligence and do all the things that you need to be doing to make sure, again, you're ending up with the right home that was built properly. And our goal throughout this whole thing is to make sure you are taken care of, that you're communicated with, and that we're doing everything we can to make this successful for you. There are a ton of details that go into this work, a ton of of energy and work that goes into these videos to help you guys decide if Idaho is going to be right for you. A ton of detail and energy and work goes into helping you guys have successful scouting trips, and then once you're ready to go through that home buying process, a ton of work and energy put into that, being on the spot, being on top of the different vendors that we have to work with and the other professionals that we get to partner with, Again, to make sure that this is going to work for you. And I want to say this. On a completely different note, a lot of people I talk to are coming here more out of a pain point. It's not so much about a job transfer. It's more about we want to get out of where we currently live. I'm looking at you, Californians. I talk to you guys every day. And I know the reasons that you guys want to move away. I hear it every single day. And I just want to say this. It is it is worth the effort. It's worth the energy. It's worth the long nights of packing and the logistics and the phone calls and the flights or the drives, the scouting trips, the negotiations, the putting an offer in on a house and not getting it, the putting an offer in a house and finally getting it, then knowing, oh my gosh, you know, trying to get everything to work as smooth as possible, especially if you have to sell a house and you want to move into a house and all the logistics that come along with that. Just know that this is what we do every single day. And if you do that successfully, and, and you will make it up here, and you will have that breath of fresh air, of just relief, especially if you have kids and they can run around in a safe place to live, and they can ride their bikes. Just a second ago, there were some kids riding bikes and the parents were on a walk. This could be your life. It is as good as you think it is. Now, granted, again, it's not for everybody, and that's why I make tons of videos to help you decide if it's not for you. But I just can guess if you're coming on a scouting trip, you're pretty much saying, I think it is what I think it is. And you you just want to verify that. And you want to check out some neighborhoods and get boots on the ground. And that's great. But it put the smile on my face when you guys go through that hard work. When you go through that hard work and finally make the decision to move and you don't kick the can down the road, we will come alongside you. 
we will hold your hand and we will walk you through step by step of this process of ultimately helping you change your life and get moved to a place that is most likely going to be a way better fit for you. And I guarantee you're going to have so many more benefits from taking that hard step and making that change and making that move more than you probably realize. You could probably only think of a few, and there's going to be all these other ones that you experience throughout the years as you make that move. So with that being said, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching. Go watch this video next about Idaho. It's the pros and cons of Boise specifically, the biggest metropolitan area in the state of Idaho. And I'll see you guys in the next video.